Hi all, uh, this is a quick tutorial on Node-RED dashboard, uh, specifically on how to prettify it, uh, make it a little fancy. I am working with Pression Designer here, uh, but this uh, should work with any default version of Node-RED. And also this flow will be available for download, uh, so check the description below. All right, uh, so in this current flow, I have few uh, Node-RED dashboard nodes. I have uh, two a charts, a gauge, now a table, and a UI template node where we'll be writing some custom CSS. So all it all this template does is it pushes some random data, let's say temperature and humidity data, to this subflow, which has a temperature chart and a temperature gauge. Similarly, it uh, pushes the humidity data to this subflow. Uh, and it has its own temperature and uh, gauge. And we have an example table node uh, once deployed. So this is what it looks like. Pretty basic in a linear way, pretty node red. Uh, so let's uh, try to make it a little better uh, than it, it already is. So first thing is uh, the dashboard layout which is a default Node-RED feature and uh, most of the people, uh, they don't know about it. Uh, and most of the people do know about it. So if this helps you, give this video a like. So to go to the dashboard, you can hit this uh, drop down icon here, hit dashboard. And you can see I have a bunch of dashboards, uh, but let me close these out uh, because all of these are hidden. Uh, so we are working with dashboard v2 and this is uh, what's uh, here in the title as well so quickly to change the title you can go directly go to edit and rename this to let's say dashboard and hit deploy all right we're done so now this title is again dashboard. Another quick tip is the layout feature. If you want to quickly move things around uh, and organize them, uh, you can do that here. So let's say I want all my temperature and humidity data together and table at the bottom. So I can increase the width of my view. Uh, let's do 16. And to resize it, I click on the lock icon and I can see the arrows appear. So if this is humidity gauge, let's do humidity gauge here. Uh, same for the humidity chart, because we want uh, both of them side by side. So let's do that. And by the way, this is how it currently looks. Uh, similarly, we do the same thing for temperature with the icon, the lock icon here. Fix the size, uh, move the temperature chart around, and also let's move the table below temperature and humidity. And this is the CS block, uh, CSS block, which is uh, part of the UI template uh, node, and it's currently empty right now. So there's nothing uh, there to display. So I hit done, I hit deploy. And here we go. So the dashboard is already looking uh, better better than before. Now, this default, this is the name of the group. So you can also organize uh, dashboard elements uh, by groups. So another thing to do is we can also specify different groups for different uh, sections. So let's say for humidity, we want a different group. For temperature, we want a different group. So for temperature, I can go into my subflow and push it to a new UI group. I pick edit. So let's call this uh, temperature. And the tab is again, uh, the same tab, dashboard. Let's do size six by four. I can do the same thing for this. Uh, for the gauge and I'll push it to 
dashboard temperature which is my group now i want to push humidity to its own group uh, so i'll go in here go to my chart add a new ui group and let's call it humidity and this is again it's part of tab dashboard and let's do the same thing here and i'll also move it to uh, humidity group so once this is in place if you look at my uh, dashboard configuration you'll see there are three groups one is default which contains our table and the css block another is temperature which contains our temperature chart and a temperature gauge and similarly for humidity and let's look at the layout and it created uh, three different views now to keep things consistent let's increase the width of all the groups uh, so that they go uh, next to each other so let's do this So now they'll appear in a linear fashion. Uh, so let's deploy. So once deployed, so we got temperature group, humidity group, and our default group. Uh, so there are few things because uh, it's a responsive layout. I mean, it's kind of a responsive layout. So Node-RED will take a good guess in estimating where to put these sections. Now, if we want to put them uh, row by row, so three section and three rows, what we can do is increase the size of the, of the increase the width of each group. So that way each group will take a single row. So let's say I'm doing 19 here, and I'm also increasing the length of table to 19. So once done, hit deploy. And now it's in a, uh, uh, it's, so the three subsections are divided into three rows. So let's change this default table, uh, default group name to, let's say table. So I double click on table and I hit edit. Now I'm not adding an UI group, I'm editing the same group, which is called default. So let's call it table. Once done, you can hit deploy and this will rename this default uh, to table. All right, so looks pretty decent already. Now there are a few more things uh, you can do here. One is, uh, let's say you want to add a title. Uh, Let's say we want to add a title on top before temperature. So we can do that with few ways. So let's use a text node. We are not pushing anything to a text node. We just we just want a headline, let's say. So there's no payload in the label. I'll say this is a title. Now, uh, one thing about some of these nodes is that you can assign a class to each node. So let's uh, rename this, so let's name this to title class. And so here is my uh, title text node. Now I want it to appear before temperature. So what I can do is I can, I can create a new UI group uh, for this title, put it on the dashboard and let's call it adding. And I don't want to display the group name uh, so we'll do add and here there's another group called heading so we'll push it before temperature and in the layout let's increase the width of uh, this group to 19 so that it takes its own full space uh, let's hit done and it's successfully de deployed and this is its own group so we have a group uh, uh, called heading but because we have hidden the name of the group and this is what uh, we added uh, the label this is the title so now if you want to uh, make it a little fancier uh, let's use some css 
Now here in this uh, node, we define a class title. So what we can do is in our CSS uh, or in our UI template node, which is right here. I just renamed this to CSS. We double click on it, we add style tag. Now here, because we named our class title, let's define styling for title and let's say I want to increase the font size and give it a different color, uh, let's say red. And I want to put a border, uh, a solid border on the left side. So this node, this will apply uh, this CSS to our uh, title. Because it's just right now assigned to the table group, this won't work. So we need to make sure that we push it to our heading group, which is, uh, which is the group where this node uh, exists. So once done, we hit deploy. And you can see that it updated this uh, title with CSS. Uh, I mean, you can do another things here. You can add border all over the place, uh, add some hover elements, uh, hover effects. Uh, so just for a quick uh, tutorial, let's use a let's use a button, and let's call it say button. And in this uh, we can name uh, the class save. And let's put it under headings group. All right. You can again uh, change the layout. Let's say we want the save button somewhere around here. We're done. And we'll also try to stylize uh, the CSS, uh, the save button with some uh, custom CSS. And I have some example CSS already in place. Uh, so let's do, so in my save uh, class, which is a button on hover, it should change the color and the color it should be black. And by default, the save button will have uh, the CSS. I hit done, hit deploy, and now you should see a save button appear with its own custom CSS. So here we go. So as I hover, it changes color as well based on our, based on our um, uh, style sheet uh, settings. Um, so there are, these are some quick ways to make uh, dashboard looks, uh, the node dashboard look good um, or a little prettier than it already is. Uh, similarly, you can, I think these nodes also support uh, CSS. So the chart and the gauge node, you can have a custom CSS for these, these widgets as well. So let's say for chart, you can define the name of the class and then use the CSS inside the, uh, inside the UI template node uh, to update those, uh, those charts and gauges. I'm not sure if, yeah, so this uh, table element doesn't have CSS, but there are uh, other ways to update the CSS of uh, uh, nodes which don't have a CSS uh, property. And I also have other tutorials on how you can use third party nodes on Node-RED. Uh, so feel free to check them out. Uh, they're all in the description below. Thank you.